Welcome everybody and I'm happy to have another 12 by 12 layout for you and this time I'm documenting my gorgeous little girl and on this day she was being particularly tiring for me. She was being a little bit naughty but I still, I still wanted to document the photo because it's everyday life and that is what scrapbooking is about for me, just documenting the everyday and not just those special occasions. So I started off with this gorgeous paper from Eco Park. It is from the Just Be You collection and I loved both sides of the paper but unfortunately I only had one piece of paper and so what I decided to do was to cut the paper in half. So I ended up having six inches of the yellow and six inches of the uh, the bottom bit or well I'm going to put it up and down so I'm going to call it the top bit and the bottom bit so side A and side B of the paper and I really like how that is looking. I really had no plans for this layout all I knew was that I liked this piece of paper and it really went well with the photo it brought out the blue in her dress and that's about all I knew so I decided that because I couldn't decide from side A and side B I was going to use both six inches on the top and six inches on the bottom. I pulled these papers from my little stash. It's from my yellow box and I tend to keep my papers all colour coordinated. And this gorgeous paper here is from Kaisercraft and it's from the Golden Grove collection and the paper is called Grateful. And that is exactly what I have to remind myself of, that even though she can drive me crazy sometimes, I am grateful that I have a beautiful little daughter. That's very willful and very challenging sometimes, but at the same time, so loving and I could not imagine my life without her. I think I mentioned before that I've been colour coordinating all my ephemera and little bits and pieces and I've pulled out my little yellow box, which happens to have a lot in it and this might be yellow and orange together I'm not 100% sure what I've done but I'm pulling out all this gorgeous yellow and I love that rose that's on the the top right hand corner but unfortunately that doesn't make it onto the final layout and all I'm doing is just pulling out things and auditioning different different ephemera and seeing what goes and what doesn't so there's a bit of orange there and I'm sorry about that little flappy doily but it's really hot here in Australia and on the day that I made this layout it was like about 48 degrees so it was hot and of course I've got the fan going I've got the ceiling fan going and then I had a side fan blowing on me as well so that's why you see that doily that keeps flipping everywhere. So this is about the longest part of the whole layout was me going through my ephemera and deciding what I was going to pick. And from my stash, I also found this that gorgeous little love heart. And what I'm going to do eventually is fussy cut the love heart out of it. And I also had another little doily love heart with this, it looks crocheted and it's gorgeous and I use that too. So this is where I decide it's time to map my photo and I'm going to use this other piece of paper from Hazercraft. And I believe the paper is called Canola and it's from the same collection as before, the Golden Grove collection. So I just roughly cut it up and I'm trying to do a little bit of layering instead of my usual, or what do you call perfect layers where I just want the whole photo matted. And you know what, I really like how this looked. It was a little bit challenging for me, but I just like the effect of all the different papers behind it and the way that they just colour coordinated quite well. And that brown piece of paper there that was just from my stash I just pulled anything that might work and this I thought added a bit of a color and went well with the photo and I just thought yes it's the right size so yeah I just sort of tried to use as much as much from my stash as I possibly could and of course the anal part of me went you know what as much as I liked it all different angles I need to have it all level <laughs> and I just couldn't stop myself but I do like it in the end it's um Something I'm going to have to challenge myself with, not having my layers so perfect. I don't know if, the, it's, if it's the accountant in me that comes out, that everything has to be levelled, but yeah, I just, in the end, I um, ended up trimming everything to, to look pretty level and even. Pretty sad fact when, when that drives you absolute bananas, isn't it? But we all have our different styles and 
I love looking at everybody else's and it looks so gorgeous but when I try to do it somehow it just doesn't look right unless I have it even and I guess there's no right or wrong in scrapbooking it's just what you like let me know in the comments if you're a little bit anal like me or if you tend to just let it be whatever it's going to be which looks so great on everybody else's layouts but for some reason I don't like it on mine so I decided I wanted to put a few little saves and of all days I needed a little thing to remind me that she is my sweetheart so I'm just using some of those Tim Holtz words and I believe these ones are from the the chit chat chit chat stickers because he's got a few different ones out and I did a little bit of journaling on that little little square journaling block there it doesn't say much it just says you are my girl you are simply the best and it's me reminding myself that she is the best and I do love her even though she's at the moment a little bit challenging so shall we say then I pulled out from the other one it's from oh I don't know if it's too I just I just stuck the word you and I'm basically going to say a little bit of journaling and for those interested the journaling just reads you drive me crazy sometimes but then you will wrap your arms around me and I smile again and isn't that what parenting is all about you know they can drive you nuts but when they give you that smile or they or they put their arms around you or whatever all is forgiven so once again I trimmed off another piece from that Kayser Craft paper and this one says enjoy the little things and that is what I try to remind myself all the time that it's the little things that in the end land up meaning the most and then I had this gorgeous piece of paper there it went well with with the layout so I thought what am I going to do with it so I put down her name using some of my stamps letter stamps and then I went looking through all my stamps so this was really good in getting out all my stash and seeing what I had and I had all these little messages within my stamps so I the next thing I stamped out says sending you this message to say and I thought that believe in magic was the perfect stamp to be at the bottom there and I liked the colors I tried to pull out a lot of the colors from the paper that's down the bottom and obviously I forgot to mention that in the middle from the Kaiser Craft paper I I cut out the one of the strips and it says all of these pictures tell our story and to me even though I haven't really journaled about this this day if I, if I look at the photo she looks angry she looks upset and that is what my scrapbooking is about because when she's 15 20 these are the these are the things I'm these are the photos I guess I'm trying to say that I'm really going to love the most the everyday moments of the of the the really special occasions yes they're gorgeous to scrapbook but these are the ones that are going to mean the most the and the ones that I guess I'm going to miss the most those everyday cranky moments her teary face I know I'm way too ahead in the future but that's why I scrapbook I guess anyway thank you all for watching here are some close-ups and I hope you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. I am trying to grow this channel. And yeah, hit that bell for future notifications. Bye, everyone.